Thank you for joining me today here at Same Chick Different Day. Today you will need for this project some diamond wrap. Two locks from the Dollar Tree. Some transparent or sheer ribbon. You will need two baskets like this. This came from the Dollar Tree. If you can't find this exact basket, you can use any type of uh, plastic basket that you can find. You will need something to cut with, an X-Acto knife or a box cutter. And you'll need some spray paint to spray your basket. So let's get started. I have gone ahead and taken this basket from the Dollar Tree outside and spray painted it with this Krylon metallic spray paint and I've already let it dry. So now what I'm gonna take the diamond wrap that you get from the Dollar Tree, and I'll leave a list of items below, and I'm gonna start cutting it into long strips. Then I'm gonna start adhering it with hot glue to the basket to give it some bling. Before I start putting on the bling around the basket, I'm gonna take the top of it and cut out a portion of it, just enough for a card to go down in there. So just find a card that you have around the house and see if it would be able to fit when you're done. Be very careful with this part. Okay, as you can see, I've cut out some pieces. I'm just gonna measure off from side to side. The diamond wrap is very forgiving. You can always go back and add more if you need to, but we are gonna take this and fold it over so that we can cover up those ragged edges so no one will see that. And I would like to mention that this is not my original idea. I was watching Tony over at Your House a Home, and she did this project, and I really liked it. So I am recreating it with a different type basket and putting my own spin on it. But I will leave a link below for her channel, and I recommend you going and taking a look at her channel. Okay, go ahead on this project and cut your hole out of the top first, and then spray paint this and spray paint your locks. That way, when you get ready to work on it, you won't have a problem because I did end up having to go back and spray paint. I could see the green that this basket used to be when I tried to put the diamond wrap on and I could see through the diamond wrap. So I did end up having to go back and paint it. Okay, I've completed the top of it. I've covered it all up and now I'm gonna go and start working on the side. So I just took a long piece and wrapped it around the edge to see how much I need. And then I am just gonna cut this down the middle and put half of it on here and half of it on the other basket. So when I put them together, they will have some bling in the middle of them. Okay, now you can see that it has a little edge on it. Um, all I did was just went around it on one basket and it was enough to cover up both of the baskets so that you won't see that they're plastic. So I hope that you can see that on the camera how that turned out and it's looking really good. So now I'm going to go in and add some of the acrylic jewels. Okay, so I thought I'd add a little bit of color with the blue diamond wrap. So I'm just gonna wrap it around and glue it on. And then I'm gonna come back in with a couple of rows of the silver over it so I can kind of bling out the lock. And I'm gonna put a lock on each side. 